You are high and lifted up. Come on, lift up the name. Lift up the name. Come on, lift up the name. Lift up your hands like you have never lift up your hands. Yes. Yes. He's worthy. This is it, Lord. My first class worship. My first class praise unto you. We rejoice in your grace. You are awesome. Yes. Go get this awesome God. You are awesome Go get His presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, give him a first class clap of praise. Give him a first class raising up your hand to the Lord. Give him a first class worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got a first class victory going on. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. All right, before... Before I let them sing one more time, come on, would you come with your first class need? Can you do this? Would you raise up your hand that you have a first class need that you know that God can meet a first class, hallelujah, answer to your need? Come on, raise up your hand. If you can speak your heavenly language, would you do it? Come on, go ahead. Give him your first class need so that he can answer your first class answered prayer. Come on, raise up him. Raise up the Lord of Lords. Raise up the King of Kings. Raise up the name of your only Redeemer. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, you see every hands that were raised up, Lord, this morning. You know every need, oh God. Lord, I did not ask them to come forward, but my God, hallelujah, you see their hearts, you see their needs, and I'm asking them, Lord, oh God, that they're going to release this first class need, oh God, because you are the object of our worship. You are a first class that we can worship, Lord, oh God. 
So I'm asking you, Lord, oh God, would you give them a first-class answer to their need, Lord, oh God? Hallelujah. No second-class answering of their worship. No second-class answering of their need. But thank you, Lord, oh God, in Jesus' name. You are the God who can answer their needs. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be, Lord, oh God, a spiritual need has been met, oh God. Let there be a physical need that has been met, Lord, oh God. Because in the name of Jesus, there is healing, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Can somebody give him praise? Can somebody give him praise? Come on, somebody. Come on, raise him up. Raise him up. Come on, sing with them. Sing with them now. Go by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are awesome. Come on, church, and say, you're a son. You are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome. Ha! Ha! Come on, let's get married today. Come on. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place. Come on, let's declare today. Awesome he wants to hear you say. Awesome in this place. He loves to hear you say, you are awesome in this place. 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 That Sunday is just the beginning of our week. Amen. We get recharged, ready to go into the mission field, Amen. which starts as soon as we leave the four walls of this building. Praise the Lord. And uh, thank you, Pastor Nomer and your family. We are so blessed. Thank you, Lord. And um, may I request that you uh, come forward. Uh, we would like to bless you um, with the word of God. Um, one thing that we came down with, after the encounter is the truth that we are at war. Once we came to the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are at war. And as soldiers of the kingdom, we have to be empowered. We have the belt of truth that we can carry, and that's the word of the Lord. In Deuteronomy 28, this is what we have learned that our, we have angels on assignment. Every one of us have angels on assignment, heavenly angels and fallen angels. But the word of God, is the, it's the word of God that mobilizes our angels on assignment to make the word of truth manifest in our lives. And so we would like for you who have your Bibles, can you please open it to... Um, Deuteronomy 28. Um, I'm so parched right now. <clears throat> we would like to declare these words to you and take it to yourselves as well. May I request the whole family, if you would be so kind to extend your, your hands over them. Let's all read and declare this upon them. Hallelujah. If you will listen diligently to the voice of the Lord your God, being watchful to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, the Lord your God will set high above you high above the nations of the earth. And all of these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you heed the voice of the Lord your God. Pastor Nomer and family, blessed shall you be in the city 
and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body and the fruit of the ground and the fruit of your beast, of the, uh, the, the increase of your cattle and the young of your flock. Blessed be your baskets and your kneading trough. Blessed shall be when you come in and blessed shall be when you go out. Hallelujah. <laughs> blessed shall cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated. Before your face, you shall come out against you one way and flee before your seven ways. You shall command the blessings upon you in your storehouse and all that you undertake. And he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you. The Lord will establish you as a people holy to himself, as he has sworn to you if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. And all people of the earth shall see you and your family, uh, that you are called by the name and the presence of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. And you shall... <clears throat> And the Lord shall make you a surplus prosperity, so you can have that BMW. And through the fruit of your body, of your livestock, and of your ground. And in the land of the Lord show, show, swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord shall open to you his good treasury, the heavens, to give the rain of your land in its season. And to bless all the work of your hands. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord shall make you the head and not the tail. And you shall be above only. And you shall not be beneath if you heed the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you in this day, and as watchful to do them. And you shall not turn aside from any of the words which I command you today, to the right or to the left, to go after our God's to serve them. Thank you, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord God. We claim for each and every one of us, Lord Jesus, the promise, Lord God, in Deuteronomy 28, Lord Jesus, that indeed, Lord God, as we align ourselves to you, Lord Jesus, blessings will seek out your people, Lord Jesus. And Lord, those truth, Lord God, shall we stand, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we stand upon Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for Pastor Nomer and her, his family, Lord God. Lord, as they go out, Lord God, we plow, Lord God, extend, plow the, their, their paths, Lord Jesus, extend, extend and expand their territories, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless the whole family, Lord Jesus, as they follow, Lord Jesus, the priests, the priests of their, their household, Lord God. And Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for the food that is set before us, Lord God. Father, we thank you for the wonderful hands that have prepared the Marthas behind all this food, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, we shall go out with praise and be led forth with, with uh, peace. Hallelujah. For we'll serve the living God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise your name. You may, be, you may go now to our worship hall.